In my first video about chicken genetics, I introduced some genetic terminology. I'd like to explore further the genetics of chickens. One of the most interesting aspects is the difference between boys and girls. To start with, we need to know what genes make a male and what makes a female. If you think you already know, based on what you know about human men and women, you're in for a surprise. Human beings have 23 pairs of chromosomes, 22 ordinary pairs, they're actually called autosomes, and one pair of sex chromosomes. In humans, females have two X chromosomes, and males have one X and one Y chromosome. Of course, since the sex chromosomes are inherited, like every other pair of chromosomes, we get one of the pair from each of our parents. So a boy gets his X chromosome from his mother, since she only has X chromosomes to pass on to her offspring, and therefore he must have got his Y chromosome from his father. If the baby is a girl, she must have inherited the father's X chromosome plus one of her mother's X chromosomes, since she ends up with two Xs, which in human terms makes her female. This system works well for all mammals, but it doesn't work for birds. Chickens have 39 pairs of chromosomes, 38 pairs of autosomes and one pair of sex chromosomes. But in chickens, as in all other birds, the male is the one who has two of the same chromosomes and the female has two different ones. The male bird has two Z chromosomes and the female has one Z and one W chromosome. So the system of sex-linked inheritance works, it just seems like it's backwards compared to the usual human or mammalian sex inheritance we're used to. A rooster has two Z chromosomes, so he will pass on one of them to his chicks. And the hen has one Z and one W. If she passes on her Z gene, the baby chick will be a boy. If she passes on her W gene, the baby chick will be a girl. So in chickens, it's which chromosome came from the hen that determines the sex of the chicks. As well as the actual genes that determine sex, the sex chromosomes also carry other genes. Genes that are carried on the sex chromosomes are called sex-linked genes. These are the basis of sex-linked crosses, which are a way of telling whether your newly hatched chicks are girls or boys. So naturally, they are very popular. I'll cover some of the more fascinating aspects of sex-linked genes in another video. Come back to this one if you ever get confused about the difference between girls and boys, or in this case, roosters and hens. Thanks for watching.